this video so many times today, I don't even feel like doing the intro. Anyway, <laughs> it's like, no. Um, what's going on, y'all? So, I'm back again with another video. And this is a collab with Ken World. So, make sure y'all go and y'all check out his video, whatever. Basically, we're going to be talking about the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so go check out his video. Leave a little thumbs up. You know, tell him, oh, Sean sent us. Hey, boo. Why? Subscribe to his channel, you know what I'm saying? And just remember, it's Wednesday. Videos every every Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. And basically, we're going to be talking about, you know what I'm saying? Misconceptions of gays and, you know, why we just can't vibe with straight boys, you know what I'm saying? Well, me personally, I'm going to be talking about why I can't vibe with straight boys, you know? So, I don't want to make this video too long because the, the first time I, I filmed this video... Ugh, I was all over the place. My, I, I have a headache. I've literally, literally been ripping and running for like two hours trying to prepare for this video. Like, I filmed this video like three times today. And then the second time, well, the third time that I just filmed it, the video was going on 40 minutes. And I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not about to sit here and pick through that and edit that. And, you know, half the stuff I was just rambling about because I have, I have a headache. That's what I do when I got a headache. I ramble. Um, so I had to write out a list of stuff that I'm going to cover. And so, yeah. So, y'all know I don't like long intros. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. These are the reasons why I can't necessarily get along well with So, the first one I want to talk about is um, the disrespect. They're just very disrespectful towards gay people. I'm talking about, like, not necessarily the homophobes. Well, yes, the homophobes. Okay. Yes, the homophobes, for one. Two, people who are not homophobic, but then again, they're like, they're in the middle, like, they're not homophobic, but then again, they're not against it. They just, you know, don't vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not their thing, you know? And then you have the people that's, you know, that's straight and that's accepting to the gay community. I'm not talking about those ones at all. The people who accept it, whatever, for what it is, I'm not talking about them at all. Like, I love people. Like, I love when I meet straight boys that are so, you know, comfortable with being around a gay person. And I've only met one dude like that out here, ever. One of them. He would, like, give me, he would come up and he would give me a hug. Like, we would be at parties and we would be wherever in the mall. Like, he would, you know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, he would give me a hug, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's not afraid to, you know, uh, interact with me in public. And I just, I just wish it was so many more boys like that. Like, okay, and I met this other boy, um... Y'all remember the light-skinned boy, Elijah, that I did a YouTube video with? His brother, his his uh, his little brother, he's very um accepting of it, too. I guess because, you know, he has a gay brother or whatever. But not even that. Like, he was like, I'm just like, bro, like, Elijah, like, you're so lucky to have a brother like that. Like, and then for them to be so, like, close in age, Elijah's, like, two, three years older than him, whatever. But, yeah, so. I mean, I mean my brothers, they accept me, too, but we ain't gonna get into me. But me and my brothers, like, we all well aged apart, so it's like, whatever. The things that they say is just, like, very out of line. Like, I know, like, y'all may think it's like, oh, it's all in your head. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not all in my head. I know what I know because, and I know because I used to be the trade. It's what I, a lot of y'all don't know. Y'all can joke about it. And I can joke about it. Because I'm no longer at that time and place anymore. I embrace it. You know what I'm saying? That's where I was at the time and point in my life. I'm not ashamed of it. It's whatever. I used to be the trade. I was the trade, okay? I will post some of my pictures on here. When I tell y'all I was the trade, like, I was the trade. Like, I mean, everybody had their little thoughts about me being gay, about me being suspect or whatever. But when I tell y'all I was the whole trade, like, I was trade. But then when I, when I came out, everybody was like, oh. But my coming out story is very emotional. And we're not going to get into that because... I'm about to cry already. See, that's that's just how emotional it is. If y'all want me to do a coming out story, just let me know. I'm I'm not gonna do it no time soon. It's probably gonna be like two months for my two year anniversary of me coming out. I've been this way all my life, but it's just I've been out publicly to everybody, everybody for two years. Um, coming up in April. Um, so yeah, if y'all want me to do a video on that, let me know. Anyway, back to this. The certain things that they say, like you know. The F word, you know what I'm saying? They'll drop that a lot, you know. They'll be like, oh, get your ass out of here. We're going to stop this. The word for 
fruity. This, this, this is what they used to say back in the day. When they were trying to say that somebody was suspect, that somebody was gay, they used to say fruity. So they'd be like, oh, get your little fruity ass out of here. Mind you, fruity means bag it. Y'all know what rhymes with bag it. And I ain't gonna say it, but because I know I'm, I'm trying to stop saying that word because it's not a nice word. And I don't like that word. But yeah. So then he's like, oh, get your fruity ass out of here. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 fruity this, fruity that, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then, like, like, it's just, it's just weird. Like, it's just weird. I, I can't vibe with straight boys. I mean, I can to a certain extent, but on everything, oh no, I'm, I'm, uh -uh, I'm good. Um, which brings me to number two, their mindset. Okay, we will go back to the disrespect in a minute, but their mindset. I, I, I don't, I can't really necessarily do their mindset. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I was little, you know, I did have a lot of straight friends. And, you know, before I came out the closet, I had a lot of straight friends as well. But then when I came out, they were just like, you know, like, F you. Like, and it just made me, you know, it just made me think, like, these niggas were never my friends. Like, these niggas left as soon as I came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? Y'all supposed to be my bros. Y'all supposed to be my mans. What everybody used to call me. They was like, oh, yeah, Sean, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he my mans. No, I'm not your mans. I'm not, not your bro, not, not cuz, no, nothing. Fuck you, period. It's no tea, no shade, it's all tea, all shade, period. Fuck you, when I say that. They know who they are, but ain't no beef. Ain't no beef at all, because, you know what I'm saying, if, if, you, if you're not gonna accept me for who I am, I don't care, fuck you, motherfucker. I don't wake up every day, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> with the mindset of, oh, um, I, it's, I wonder who's going to accept me today. I wonder who's not going to accept me today. Oh, um, you know, I, I, I don't wake up to please nobody but myself. I don't wake up to please nobody. Let's just get that straight. You will never in your life see me beg anybody for them to accept me for who I am. If you can't accept me for who I am, fuck you, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my life. I don't need you, period, point blank. Better off without. Better off without. Period. Period. Never have I ever begged anybody to be my friend. Never have I ever begged anybody to accept me for who I am. That's just that. Anyway, back to um, growing up. When I did have, when I did play football, I played football for four years. Um, not only like just for in like, you know, the football world and you know, what they would talk about. They would talk about. <sighs> I'm gonna do a story time about that. I'm gonna do a story time about me playing football and about me dishing all the tea. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I think y'all really wanna know what goes down in the locker rooms. And I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Because when I tell y'all some stuff goes down in the locker room, stuff goes down, okay? When I tell y'all, y'all, girls out there with uh, uh, football players' boyfriends, y'all got football player boyfriends, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Watch your man. You should watch your mouth. I don't understand their mindset. And you can, a lot of them can say, well, that's why I can't buy with gay people. I don't understand their mindset. You damn right you don't. To a certain extent. Hmm. Just like, and you know, I kind of, me personally, I kind of got the best of both worlds. If, if you gay and you watching this, just know, we got the best of both worlds. If you, if you really think about it, we have the mindset of a nigga and a female. Think about it. Don't say nothing. Moment of silence. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. You, yeah, girl. You, that could, you know what I'm talking about, girl. Yeah, girl. And I, I, I definitely know because, I, like I said, I used to be the whole trade. I had a lot of girlfriends growing up, blah, 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 blah. You know, the case may be. So, I know how to, I know, I know how to play both roles. I know the roles of both roles. You know, I know how both roles get down. I know both roles mindsets. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know the tea. So that's why when people, you know, my friends come to me with advice, I tell them I give them the real tea because I know, I know what I'm talking about. And I, a lot of things what I speak on, I, I'm speaking of it from experience. When, I'm t when, I, when I call somebody a trade, I'm not just saying they a trade to say they a trade. I'm literally calling you damn a trade because I, bitch, I know that they are trade, okay? Trade, I mean, not trade, recognize trade, but gay, recognize gay. And trade is some type of form of gay. So, bitch, basically, y'all already know that. I, I, gay, recognize gay, period.
Next case. On to their mindsets. Um, oh, man. Growing up where I live, where I'm from, DMV, all boys talk about fucking bitches, smoking weed, rappers, or sports. That's all they talk about. Okay, we're going to start with um, fucking bitches. I was never into that. I don't like the way they describe females. I'm the way that they would like describe females would just not sit right with me. Like, I was in a lunch line a few days ago, and this happens like occasionally. Walk past, no, I'm, I'm in a lunch line or whatever, and, and a group of boys is behind me. And they talking about one of the boys, he talking about this girl. He's talking about, oh yeah, her breast so big, blah, blah, blah. her ass so fat, bro. I just want to fuck, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, ew, like, why, how could you, like, the fact, not ill, like, that's what you really want to do. I mean, if you, that's on you. That's what you really want to do. But it's the fact of the matter that you really sitting here and you only trying to mess with this girl just so you can get a quick night and leave. Like, is that the wave? Is that really the wave? And I ain't going to sit here and act dumb like it's not. Half of y'all it is, but it's a wave. That, it's a wave that I'm not riding. I don't like the way they talk about them. They, they're really disrespectful when they talk about y'all. <laughs> Bye, you're a fuck boy, and you make your exit. Your case dismissed. Make your exit. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna okay. What's what, what else? I say. I said we. Yeah, that's all they're talking about. We. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Can't relate. Next case. Um, rappers. I'm. I, I don't. I don't like trap music like that. I'm sorry. I don't. Ugh. Next case. Sports. I ain't into no sports like that, man. I ain't talking about no sports all day long. Like, when I tell y'all, boys will literally sit here and go back and forth. Damn near look like they about to fight each other about debating about sports. But, no, uh, Steph Curry, uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, LeBron James, uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, I be like, oh, my gosh. Like, calm down. Like, calm down. It's not that serious. Like, but yeah, I was never into sports like that. I played football for four years, and that was that. Um, yeah, other than that, I, I don't watch it. I don't talk about it. I don't follow it. I don't do none of that. I'm, nope. It's not my tea. It's not my, no. So yeah, that's four common denominators, four main common denominators why I just can't vibe with them. Um, next case, number three is the things that they talk about. Well, yeah, that goes back to mindset. Um, number four, um, they can't take me. They can't take me. I really feel as though um, straight boys, like, they just cannot take me. Like, I don't know whether it's because I'm too feminine, I'm too dramatic, you know, whatever the case is, I just feel as though they can't take me. And I, I make them uncomfortable. And <sighs> brings me to number five, personal stories. I'm about to tell you some personal stories on how, you know, because I don't just say things and, you know, just say it, you know. I actually have facts when I talk. So, it was brought to my attention, you know, in my, in my last vlog, you know, it was at my friend's hotel party. And a uh, group of people had came and a song had came on and, you know, I started dancing or whatever and they got up and left. I don't know if they was leaving because they were just ready to go or they had somewhere to be, whatever the case was. But I was told from one of my friends that the reason why they left was because they were uncomfortable with me twerking to give me my gods. I mean, give me my gods came on. Like, I had to get up. I had to shake a good bun. Like, but yeah, that's the reason why I told that they were, that they had left, that the boys had left. I was just like, oh, okay. So, I went and I asked, I asked my friend boyfriend, I asked my sister boyfriend, I said, um, would, do you feel uncomfortable with me and her twerking? He said, no. I asked the other boy, I said, do you feel uncomfortable with me and her twerking? He said, no. I'm like, okay then, so if y'all not uncomfortable with it, I don't see why they should be. That's why you already know what's going on in my head. Trade alert, trade alert, trade alert, trade alert. Boom, I mean, duh, like... What what did you get uncomfortable for? Like that's that's another thing why I just don't understand about straight boys. Like 
Y'all be so quick to be uncomfortable. But you know, we're gonna turn, we're gonna flip the gag on. I'm gonna flip the gag on y'all real quick because the same way that y'all be flirting with girls or whatever, making them feel uncomfortable, making them feel like they gotta go with y'all, or whatever, gays can do the same thing to y'all and it's so funny. The same way y'all make females feel so uncomfortable when y'all be flirting with them, the same way the gays, gays, us gays, we can flirt with y'all and make y'all feel uncomfortable as well. So, Boom. And y'all do. Y'all be feeling real uncomfortable. Y'all be feeling sick boot when we be flirting with y'all. Yeah, yeah, huh. You're not comfortable, is it anymore? So yeah. But that's just what it is. And and, and I do. I use my gay powers all the time. All the time. We be in a party and Niggas be coming up to my girls, whatever, trying to dance with them. And my girls is like, no, like, like, move, boy, like, move. I be like, sis, you want me to fuck it up real quick so I can scare them away? They be like, please. I be like, oh, hold on. Let me see. Girl, I be quick. I be like, oh, I ain't going to fuck that. I ain't going to do it to y'all, girl. I ain't going to do it to y'all, girl. But, yes, I be like, girl. And then they leave, too. I be like, yes, like, get away from my girls. Like, what is, what is you doing? But, yeah. This is what that be giving. Um, I've gotten into many, 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 many physical altercations. Okay, I've been in a lot of fights. Period. Okay, I grew up fighting. Everybody who knows me, y'all already knew. I grew up throwing throwing them things literally like every month or every other month or every week, a few times and whatever. I would have at least about. three, four, five fights a year, but at the minimum, okay, at the minimum, when I was younger, all the way up until I was like 16, maybe like three, four fights a year, but yeah, so, and then, but a lot of it came from me being me and living my sexuality, you know what I'm saying, people who just didn't, you know, agree with me living my life, tried to try me, and I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to go out like no bitch. It's just like, number one, you know what I'm saying, you're not about to talk to me in type of way, uh, hell no. Number two, you're not about to sit up here and make me sound like I'm no type of bitch. No, fuck that motherfucking bitch, we going to fight. Bitch, you want to fight, we going to fight. You're not about to talk to me in any type of way. <laughs> That's number one. You want to say something, there's, there's, a, there's a way that you can say it. But you're not going to sit here and you're not going to disrespect me and think that you're going to get away with it. Uh, no. No, that's not flying over here, okay? Number two, you're not about to make me feel as though, you know, like I'm a punk. No, 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 no. Everybody already know. You want to lock? We can lock. We can do this, you know? <laughs> Nobody's about to sit here and make me feel as though I'm weak. No. I've been in so, 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 so many physical altercations that have led to my sexuality and just from the simple fact that people just cannot take it and bruh when i say that i'm being so serious i can at least think of four fights right now off the top of my head that i've gotten into just for me being my sexuality i mean just because of my sexuality four fights different people like when I tell y'all, bruh, I'm just going to be so honest. Being gay is not easy at all. I deal with homophobia on a daily basis. I deal with hating ass bitches on a daily basis. I deal with envious bitches on a daily basis. Well, and I used to a lot where I used to live. Thank God I moved out of my hometown. It was just, it was just getting too much for me. I was just like, okay, look, I'm not about to keep dealing with all this. Um, but, I mean... It's still around me, you know. I that just showed that that just told me, you know, it's where it's gonna be. Sean, it's gonna follow you wherever I go, and that's just that. Verbal abuse, uh, and I'm not saying like you know, and I'm not saying that I'm out here getting bullied or whatever. It's nothing like that. I've never well, like they used to pick on me a lot. In elementary school, in the middle school, 
um, because of uh, my feminine ways or whatever. And, I, you know, I'm still in the closet by that time. And I'm still trying to figure out who I am. So I didn't really know and blah, blah, blah. So people would, like, try to pick with me. And just one boy would try to, like, fuck with me. And then me and him would always end up fighting, like, every day or whatever. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And y'all know who I'm talking about. If y'all don't, then whatever. If, if that's what you really want to do, you really want to fight because you don't agree with my sexuality. Come on, let's go. I ain't no bitch. Come on, put your hands on me. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you up. Period. But, uh, um. Oh, and another big thing that I just can't seem to vibe with from straight boys is the way that y'all try to get attention from gay people. Like, y'all try to get attention. I'll be simply minding my business in school. In the mall. In a party, in a club, wherever I am. Just simply minding my business and a group of boys will walk up, you know what I'm saying? They won't be talking to me, but they'll be like talking within themselves and then, you know, they'll just be they'll say some shit like, um, Ew but chill out with that gay shit, Mo. You gay, blah blah blah. Why you acting gay, blah blah? That's gay, blah blah. And they know I'm standing right here, bro. They know I'm standing right here. And they already know. Like they already be knowing the tea. Like they see me right here, they already know, you know, my sexual preference when you when you look at me. Like you are you can already tell. So it ain't if no it ain't no if and buts about it, but you already know. So and then they'll I notice I know that they be doing it on purpose because they'll like say it over and over and over and over again. They'll say it louder and louder and louder and louder. And it's like, shut up. Like, you're not about to get no type of attention out of me. The only attention that you're going to get out of me is going to be the attention that you don't want. And I'm going to spaz on you. I'm going to say, bro, shut up. You're not ignorant and arrogant and dumb you sound. Shut up. Period. But yeah. And then, like, I'll be walking and, like, boys, they just be, like, with their friends or whatever. And they'll, you know, like, try to, like, kiki, you know, stuff like that. And, like, they'll see me or whatever, and then they'll, like, tell their friends or whatever, and be like, oh, whisper in their ear. I think that is so gay. I think that is, I think my boys do that. That is so gay. They see a gay person. They would, they see a gay person. They whisper to their friends' ears. And then they'll look, and then they'll both all, and then everybody will, like, Looking at like they're turning heads and they start laughing and shit. Like I just think that's so gay. That's so childish. That's what little girls do. Okay, in elementary school. That's what little girls do in elementary school. Okay. Boys really need to stop doing that. Like that is I don't. I don't first of all, bitch, what the fuck is so funny? What's funny? Ain't nothing that I'm doing is funny. I'm just giving. I'm just pumping through. Giving a good strut. On the side note, sorry y'all, I got a headache, so I was like, I'm like all over the place. I'm so sorry. Um, give me a list of videos. DM me some videos that y'all want to see me do. My real subscribers, DM me some videos that y'all want to see me do. Follow me on Instagram at Sean underscore two trail because that's where like I do polls and I ask y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all want to see me do this type of video or this type of video? And y'all, y'all will vote too. Um, the ones who vote, I really appreciate it because you know. I try to get my subscribers what they want to see. So, part two to this video may be coming soon, whatever. When I get in the right headspace, right now I'm just hungry, I'm irritated. I got a headache and I'm just like so over it. I tried to film this video like three times. She had me going crazy. I'm only 18, but I'm ready for your babies. It's crazy how you saved me. Oh, yeah. I needed a girl to come tame me. If you ever got a problem, you can blame me. No if, but to maybe. Just say, please.